Toy Spot, we are having a look at the DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series number 12, Harley Quinn. A figure that a lot of collectors were waiting to arrive. Harley Quinn is depicted from her animated release. She comes also with a laughing fish and a pop gun, a little pop cap gun. It is recommended for ages 14 and up as it has small parts not, for rec not recommended for children under 3 years of age. Spin around the back of the package, absolutely nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Down below, however, you can go to www.dccomics.com. You can also go to comicshoplocator.com, which Spot has used to find a local comic book store that I go to now all the time. So it does work. However, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Batman animated series number 12, Harley Quinn. There's more heading away, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. It is a sheer miracle that Spot's able to get Harley Quinn to stand, and hopefully she'll continue to stand until we get a look at the figure. First things first, Harley Quinn comes with a pamphlet. It's pretty much the same pamphlet that we've seen with the other release of the figures because they haven't really added all that much since. Um, you've got Batman from the Mean Season. There goes Harley Quinn. I knew it was going to happen. Two-Face, Mr. Freeze, Catwoman, the Joker, Robin, Man-Bat, Poison Ivy, Killer, Croc, and Baby Doll, Robin, the Creeper, and Harley Quinn. Um, looking at this, I think the only one Spot has not picked up yet is Man-Bat and Killer Croc, but we've pretty much had a look at all the other figures. And then there are some other figures that they've released too, like Riddler and the original animated series Batman, not the new Adventures Batman. So we'll put that to the side. Harley Quinn also gets herself a booklet showing you how to display the figure on her stand. This would be a crucial step, not so much you know, the fact that, it's, that nothing will change to the figure, but getting her to stand certainly will be a problem if you don't use the display stand. So put that to the side. As for her display stand, Harley Quinn gets a turnaround character sheet from the animation Bible. I'm trying to actually remember where I've put my animation Bible. But if you ever get a chance and you, you're you really a big fan of, try to find like stuff like the artwork from Animated Series. And I think there was one also called the Animated Series Bible, which I think is the one I've got. And it's got the character turnarounds to it. So for this, we're going to take the rod, the clear rod. And you'll see that there one side of it is halved. There's a little flat end of it. That flat end has to go to the back of the display stand. And just pop that into place. It doesn't seem to always want to go in there. There we go. And then the other step that you need is to add the waist clip. And that slides easily enough down. This back section can come forward, depending on how much clearance you need. I really don't think that you need as much clearance as they think you, you might need. I think it could really even stop there. You don't need this all this excess. I'm just kind of thinking, imagine having this against a flat shelf. I'm just thinking like that's might be just too much. I don't know. But this section opens up. And you can take Harley Quinn, which will need the display stand. Move her arms out of the way. And it fits just right around her waist. It's not a snug fit, but enough of a fit to get her to stand, and she's not going to fall anywhere. That is good. Let's go ahead and take her off the display stand and have a look at the figure. With DC Collectibles, it seems like what they try to do with the Batman Animated Series figures is that they try to give us an amalgamation of a little bit cartoon and a little bit of the original Kenner-released figures. Harley Quinn here, I feel, channels the animated show, but I feel like she channels the action figure from Kenner a little bit more. Her face is, is not bad, but I feel like the face doesn't really have a lot of personality to it, but it is almost exactly the same as how it looked with the Kenner figure. The figure is very lanky as well and could be problematic down the road, as if you've owned probably a couple of these, you might find that joints tend to be a little on the looser side down the road and areas such as the very small feet could be a problem as well. As a whole, I think she works well. I think she, the coloring is quite nice on her. 
And of course, the one comparison I would want to use, there is Mr. Mr. J. There's J Joker there next to Harley Quinn. I feel like she maybe she's just a little too short that she could have been just a little bit taller. But I feel like maybe that is an accurate reading to how the, you know, the original Kenner figures um, were, you know, back in the day. I think it was Kenner. I'm trying to actually think now. So there's Joker and Harley Quinn. Now, where uh, Joker, if you asked me, if anybody really wanted to know, I feel like Joker really delivered poorly when it comes to accessories. Sure, they were accessories specific to the series that Joker appeared in, the episode that Joker appeared in, but like the big dome helmet and all that kind of stuff just doesn't make much sense to me. It doesn't scream Joker. Harley Quinn, however, it seems delivered a little bit more in the way of Joker-themed accessories, some of which, or one of which, could be perfect for Mr. J. And that is, Harley Quinn also comes with a laughing fish. And unfortunately, while I don't have the proper hands in Joker right now to be displaying him with it, Joker, I think, fits perfectly with having Harley Quinn's laughing fish with him, as opposed to some of the just preposterous accessories that he ended up coming with instead. Laughing Fish is very cool though. Big glaring smile. I don't know if the fish's teeth, fish teeth, would allot the fish to have a full smile like that, but it's cartoon dynamics. It's logic of the cartoons. Can't really question that. So I love the Laughing Fish inclusion. Even perfect for Joker because again, Joker dis did not deliver strong enough accessories, if you ask me. The other accessory, let's pick up Harley Quinn, the other accessory that, besides the laughing fish that she comes with, is a very small uh, pop, little pop cap gun. Now, it's funny that characters such as Robin would have carried a lot of different accessories. Harley Quinn, aside from a couple of different hands, the laughing fish, she only gets this. Pretty cool if they had included the the extended flag that said "bang," which would would have been a remnant, uh, you know, a, a throwback to the original Harley Quinn figure. Currently, she cannot hold the weapon. However, she does come with a ton of different hands. Some are closed fist. She has a closed fist for each the black and red hand, and then she's also got very very small trigger hands, perfect for holding the cap gun. Let's pop the hand off. You see how small that peg is. And doing our best not to do any damage. We'll pop the hand back in. I'm gonna just wiggle that to assist me a little bit. And we can put the pop gun into her hand. She holds it extremely well. Actually, no qualms whatsoever with the way that she's holding that gun. And if you hopefully do not have any problems with the joints, you can get the arm bent. And you can display her this way. Actually, you know what? I might be displaying her, I think, with Joker. Maybe give Joker the Laughing Fish. I think that would be fun. Still feel like she could be a little bit taller, though. I, maybe that's one little hiccup, I would say. She could be just a little bit on the taller side. In the way of Harley Quinn's articulation, we'll just remove her pop gun for a second. She does have a ball joint in the head. Does rotate left and right. It does bend, but not really much. Surprisingly, not really much up and down. Mostly just left and right. Shoulders are on a hinge, so they hinge out. And that's as far out as they will want to go. Probably just because of how round the top of that shoulder is, that it doesn't sit in the cavity enough to get a further extension. I would not bend it any further than that, or you would run the risk of it <laughs> breaking off. The arms also rotate all the way around, although you will have to move her head if you want to rotate the arms completely around. She does have a bend in the elbow, which also rotates the forearm. Also, there's that hinge in the hand that pivots. She doesn't appear to have any waist swivel whatsoever, but that's, that's okay. She does have the articulation where the legs move forward and back. It has that same familiar hinge that we've seen with other animated series figures. Hinge out. She has a bend in the knee, which also 
I would say normally would rotate the leg too, but it doesn't look like it wants to move. And I'm not going to gamble with fiddling around with that. And finally, she has a pivot in the foot where the pivot foot only pivots this, it rocks back and forth. I like the figure, but I feel because it is channeling more the original animated series Harley Quinn figure and less the series, which seems to be a common trend with the DC collectibles. The figure is good. I feel like it could be a little bit better, but it depends on how you approach the line. If you approach the line like this is an updated release to the original Kenner Batman figures, perfect Harley Quinn. If you're expecting something from the TV show, I don't feel like it's a true representation of Harley, how she appears in the show. Very similarly enough to how Joker doesn't quite look like Joker from the animated movie or animated series either. So would I recommend it? Yes. If you've been collecting the other animated figures, she is though a little on the lanky side. So I would say some caution should be made when moving joints, arms, legs, and knees. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the DC Collectibles Batman, the animated series, Harley Quinn. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.